Hello, I'm Andrew and today I'm going to review this nice stereo tower, very nice from Akai, it was made in 1979 and it is the Akai AM2650 as you can see here, yeah. Earlier I reviewed in my other videos, you can see the AM2850, that, that was a superb sounding amplifier, really that thing knocks me out of my chair every time I put that thing on, but this thing is a model smaller. I also reviewed the 2450, that one sounded good. And uh, so this was the one I still didn't uh, review yet and didn't score yet. And well, this thing came complete. I already have it a long time in my house and uh, I think, okay, it's time for a review. I made a video from this same uh, amplifier just now how I cleaned the uh, speaker relay because the sound was not good. I cleaned the, uh, the speaker relay several times, I cleaned the pot meters and then I noticed, then I noticed that there was nothing wrong with this amp. The problem was that I blew up my magnet. I blew up my magnet, this one. It doesn't have any bass anymore. So that was the reason why I thought it was a problem of the uh, of the amp, and it was not the amp. It was uh, uh, my speaker, and the speaker I think blew up because of this very hard cracking noise when I switched this thing over. The cracking noise is now completely gone. Yeah, but before I used uh, uh, spray on it, it was cracking very heavily, and it's good now. But I blew up my speaker, so. I have some more speakers in my basement, some good speakers, but uh, I will not take them from, uh, from, from downstairs, they are heavy and uh, well, I will do the test with this uh, GBL TI600, but they are not that good sounding, not, a, no, not even close as this, my old Magna. Listen to this. That means the speaker is finished. I need a new speaker. I need to replace it. Maybe I can find a second hand. If you, this is the good one. Yeah. Listen to this. This is still the good speaker. By the way, this is how you can test speakers, especially the bass speakers, if they are still good. If you don't have, if you're gonna buy speakers, you don't have a way to listen to the speakers if they are good. Just do this. If you hear this, this sound, listen to this. That means the bass speaker is finished. I will not use them for this test. I try to do my best and I will not do the test with this tuner because the tuner is completely out of line and it needs adjustments. It's, it's an easy job, but you need a scope for that. I also will not test this tuner, so I will use a very good Pioneer tuner together with this amp. So I will only test the sound of the amp for you, okay? So let's uh, put up the uh, Pioneer on top of this amplifier so we can start with the test. So for this test I will use this uh, Pioneer TX9500, it's a very good tuner. I will make a separate review from this tuner later. But for now I'm only using this thing to test the sound of the amplifier, the Akai amplifier, and as you can see this amplifier is very good looking and uh, you know when you buy these kind of uh, sets they often miss one or two of these switches, you see, you see? and without these switches it is not a nice looking amp, so this one was missing one on the tuner and probably they are for sale on eBay <laughs> and these guys ask for only these switches a lot of money but you can find them and if it is only one it's not a big problem and uh, well uh, this thing is a very heavy amp yeah it's uh, it have enough power nice two big power meters it have the stereo mode this mono stereo uh, muting on off loudness on off low high yes filters on off and of course the, this this knob is for the tone controls off it means neutral 
on mean you are gonna use the bass and treble and uh, this is the balance and of course the sound source selector and the selector switch and uh, so let us uh, well, another big difference between the 2850 that is the 2850 this thing is lighted round and this one isn't so let us try out the tuner and uh, well it is not the same sound as you are used to have from my uh, reviews from my magnat speaker zero vi and almost all my reviews i use those speakers but today you will hear this sound coming over the gbl so it is a little bit different but okay uh, I blew off my magnet, so anyway, listen to this. Classic frustration, Kunning. But maybe for you, you know, you don't have to be a strong friend, and I'll have the extra stance from the end of the top of the mess. Make them a duck. This is a flippant deal, so with Mono, it's a flow to fly. I don't think so. Ah, I don't think so. Schnell heißt es das. This thing doesn't sound as the 2850, not at all. It is a very big difference. Uh, it sounds okay, you know. I am not say, saying that the sound is bad. Yeah, it's a good sound, but don't think it is the same as the 2850, and because that one sounds really. I miss some uh, clarity in this amp. Some, some, uh, yeah. How can I? The bass is plenty that I, I even think the bass is too much. Yeah, and when I put the thing on neutral, I think it, it produces a boomy bass because I, I tested this thing on one of my magnet speakers, so I can hear the difference very clearly. So it's not the same. It's not the same sound as 2850. You know, not even close. And um, I think. It's better than the 2450 or almost the same. So if you have the 2450 or the 2650 like this one, it's almost the same, you know. Only this one has a little bit more power than a 2450. And uh, well, if you buy a receiver like or an amplifier like this, and it's a good condition, don't hesitate. It's a nice amplifier. They are collector's items. Uh, I already sold this unit to a guy far away, he lives in Europe, but he lives far away in the town and I will send this set to him and uh, the only thing he has to do is to align the tuner and well that will be a very easy job because a tuner align job is well 5 or 10 minutes job so anyway this was my small review from this nice Akai 2850 
Uh, I, if you want to see how I clean the uh, speaker relay from this uh, Akai, it's this amplifier, just watch my other video. And uh, I will be back uh, for a review from this nice tuner, this top tuner. This is really one of the best tuners ever built, this TX9500. And uh, well, I don't say it's better than the Akai AT2450 because I'm, well, I like more the Akai tuner than this one, but the looks, the feelings, the knob feelings, everything from this Akai is much better than this Pioneer. But I will make a separate review from this, well, this tuner, they are, well, they are collector's item too, and if you have a 8500 or a 9500 Pioneer amplifier, it's matching with them and uh, so but for now I'm ending this review from this Akai 2850 if you want to see the uh, how I clean the speaker relay from this amplifier just uh, uh, check on uh, on my, my other videos well thanks for watching for now I say bye bye